I was ill-conceived on where the hitbox was. I'm dead. All right, games. I see what you're playing at. I see what's going on here. What a punk... Can you just come here? Like, I can't go across the lava, you schmuck. See, now he'll actually come over here to me and fight. Okay, you schmuck. God, the hitbox was such a, was a lingering hitbox. As I rolled and it was like, and now you die. Alright, come here, dude. Come here off the lava. There we go. I can actually attack you. Okay. Lingering hitbox. Can't roll into it. Have to roll on the side. Check aisle three. Okay, cool. I gotta trigger them and then run back and then run across because I can't. Uh, I can't beat them across there apparently. So that's cool. No! What a. Oh. Where's the thing? What's up guys, this is Alec the Lost Knight, and welcome back to some more Dark Souls. We are at Seath the Scaleless for our next boss. Oh, I skipped ahead a little bit. Ow, god almighty, that was a little loud. Alright, um, I skipped ahead a little bit because I always skip most of uh, Duke's archives just because I hate this place. Um, so we are here just prior to going to Seath. We're going to parry... One of these lovely uh, gentlemen here. And then we'll continue on and head to the boss fight. Uh, are you? You're not. You're Chandler's armor. This one's the mimic right here. So did you know... Let's see if I have any on me. Uh, I don't. Alright. If you have Lloyd's Talismans, you can throw them at them... At 
uh, mimics and they'll open up and give you the item without having to kill it. So I should have done that on the pacifist run, but I forgot about it. So here we are. All right, sir, I gotta parry you. Nice. Nice. All right, get that out of the way. This should be st uh, stones, prism stones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, with that, um, I think with Seath, we're going to try to do... We're going to try to get back to doing the Bone Fist. Because Seath isn't that bad. Um, as long as you avoid the AoE, the rest of the attacks aren't that bad. So we'll see. Yeah, we're going to put on the uh, Grass Crest as well. For some endurance. Although, although I say that... Um, Oh, don't, don't touch me, sir. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Unexpected. All right, so I just switched to this armor, but honestly, I may... All right, the problem is, in doing any type of themed run or what have you, like I've been trying to do, which I pretty much abandoned the last two bosses anyway, but the problem is, is that Seath can curse you if you don't have good curse resistance. And I don't know how good the curse resistance is on this armor as compared to what I normally wear. So allow me to real quick check the stats. So my curse resistance is 40. Alright, let's put on my normal stuff. Okay. Curse resistance is 102. Yes, yeah, so we're not wearing dark armor. We're wearing my normal my normal gear. Uh so be it. <laughs> If that's the case, what's the point of doing the bone fist? Who cares? All right, who who cares? Who cares? We're just gonna fight this man. Hey, don't fall off the edge, buddy. Okay, so I wonder if can I wog the clams? I don't think it'll kill them though. I can try it just to see. Kind of doubt it, but we can try it. No touch. No touch. Okay, yeah, that's not 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 good. Not good. Not good. Let's trigger the fight. Let's save and quit, and let's go back into the fight, and let's do it for real. Alright, we're going to get this guy first try. You ready? Here we go. First try. New game, plus five. Don't mind me, sir. Just doing my thing. Don't, don't mind me at all. Hashtag yikes. Alright, let's go ahead and heal real quick, and then let's go after it. So the key for this fight is just to watch, um, just kind of stay out of the way of all of his nonsense, and then just to watch for his uh, AoE attack. The AoE is really bad. Yikes. Ow, don't push me into your freaking... Okay. Okay. Don't touch. All right, we're good. All right, if I can do this now. Oh, he's moving. Hold on. Finish him. Finish. Nice. That's it. That's it. First try. Easy. GG easy. There it is. All right, with that, um... All right, next we head down to the Lost Isolith. We've got the Demon Fire Sage, we've got Centipede Demon, and we've got um, Bed of Chaos. Bed of Chaos, I actually have a cheese 
uh, tactic now, so that shouldn't be very bad at all. I don't have any... It keeps giving me, like, just short of a... Which, I mean, I'm, like, 30k short. But, anyway. We can use, uh, Demon Fire Sage souls for that. Let's go to Daughter Chaos. Alright, we're gonna get an Egghead while we're here. To try and finish out... <clears throat> my, uh... Pyromancy get, if you will. So... Be something else I can show you guys and kind of explain a little bit, maybe. Okay, so, um, all of these egg carriers here have been infected by, um, the whatever from, uh, the Sisters of Islith, all that good stuff. They can actually infect you. So if you get grabbed by an egg carrier... So one of these guys, if he grabs you... Okay. Alright, like this. See? And boom, infected. Okay. So I've been infected. And now within about five minutes, it will hatch and I will have an infected egghead. Um... There's nothing much beneficial to this. In fact, the egghead actually consumes half of your souls. But it will hatch after it's consumed around 100,000 souls, which means you've gained like 200,000 total, something like that. Um, so that's a thing. But if you notice, idle animation. Uh, I should scratch my head. That'll tell you if you're infected or not. Yep. Alright, I have the head scratchies, so I'm infected. Alright. So that'll be horrific, and we'll all, I get to show you all that, but uh, we'll get there. Come here, Capra. You must die. You must die! I rolled early. Alright, cool. Thanks. What a schmuck. I wasn't even close on that. Cheese and rice. Okay. Let's go get my souls back now. <laughs> it's actually probably a poor time to be doing this whole infected head thing because, uh... Well, no, it should be fine. I just need to get rid of it before I go to Tomb of the Giants because uh, I need my headgear for Tomb of the Giants to see where I'm going. I'm like, I don't have to have it, but it would definitely be... Beneficial. Yeah, I have no excuses. This is my good build and everything. I have no excuse to this. Hey, egghead! Yay, isn't that horrific? Now I have an egghead. Alright, so late. Oh, stagger. Goodbye, dirt bag. That's all it took. A very late roll on that. Alright, so now I have this egghead, which is great. It actually takes the place of your head item. You can't put anything on, on your head. Um, so that's fun. And it absorbs half the souls you get. And after it absorbs enough, it actually hatches. Which is horrific. So we'll try to get there. I figured these next three bosses total ought to get us to the, uh, the hatch out point. So, that'll be fun. Let's go ahead and put our bow on. Get some arrows. Okay, and we're gonna stand like over here. And we're just gonna shoot this thing with a bow. A bunch. Can this thing be poisoned? It can be poisoned. There we go. That'll help. I do like me some poison arrows. This bow's pretty fast, too, really. And that's dead. Did we get this bonfire. And we'll take off the... Take that off. 
Go back to our pyromancy flame. Also, if you didn't know, um, that's the centipede demon. Chilling out right there. Looking horrific. Thanks, I hate it. There's also an item over here that I never get that I will now grab just because I want to show it's here. Hello. See this? Green Titanite. No wonder why I never get it. Okay. There's also an item right here on top of the, uh, right at the very top of the centipede demon. Excuse me, sir. Alright, let's go straight for Demon Fire Sage. And then this guy's gonna pop up. Jump past us. Easy peasy. Oh, cheese and rice, go away. Let's save and quit, make sure uh, old Ka uh, Taurus demon doesn't be right up on me. Alright. Do not. Okay, good. All right, here comes a fight that is one of my least favorite just because of how the beginning of it always sucks. He always does this leap attack with the AoE and it's just the worst. So let's see if we can not die in the very beginning. Hey, I actually uh, blocked that. Okay. Okay. I love this loop. When it gets in this loop. And goodbye. Easy peasy. Nice. There's the souls. Yeah, it's only half, so it would have been like 40k or something, and I only got half of that, so. Wow, we're not even. Why? <laughs> I wonder if it consumes half of your consumable souls as well. Ooh, are we just short? Ooh, okay, well, let's, uh. Alright. Let's go up the stairs here and kill some of these little, uh, fire statues. Time to die. No, oh, come now. Game. I get so aggravated about the scenery because more often than not, your weapon will bounce off of it. And more often than not, the enemy's weapon will go straight through it. It'll just ignore it's even there. So, I don't appreciate that at all. Oh, hey, cool. Get my souls. That may be enough, but we're going to kill a few more just in case. Nice. Hey, get out of here. There's also an item right back here, but you got to kill three of these things. Nice. Where's the... There it is. Hey, it's a soul. Cool. So now we definitely have enough. We'll go ahead and grab this soul up here while we're here as well. This is also an elevator up to uh, Daughter Chaos Bonfire. Oh, there's not an item here? Oh, never mind. Okay. That's fine. No big deal. We will go... Alright, excuse me. We'll go a level and then head to Centipede. Centipede, I don't know if we'll get first try or not. I know last time we had, we uh, killed it once. Or no, sorry. We died once, but we got the orange charred ring, and then we fought it probably twice more with the ring, and you know, was able to kill it pretty easily after that. But Anyway, let's, uh, let's go do Centipede. 
Really, your best bet with this fight is to, is to have Solaire with you. But since I haven't talked to Solaire at all this playthrough, I can't use him. Um, ooh, that was close. I almost ran off the ledge. So. Just me. And... I feel bad buffing because he takes so long to get to you. You use up most of your buff before he even comes to you. Um, I guess let's do it just to do it. And we'll see how it goes. Alright. Here we go. Cutscene. Who cares? You can actually lead him over here in the corner. There's actually a way. And I don't know if I can show it off or not. Or if he grabs you, like, in the wall. Um, it can, like, warp him outside the map and he'll fall to his death. Sorry, I'm gendering a boss again. My bad. Yep, okay, cool. Bolt a little bit early there. Come here, dude. I rolled early, but it's okay there. Alright, come here. Yes, come here off the lava. There we go. That'll help. Don't. Okay. I got the ring, so I actually can fight him on his own terms. Where's the ring? There it is. Alright, now I'm no longer scared of you. Come here, punk. Can't escape me now. Don't land on me. There. Easy. GG, easy. Grow my little egg, grow. Yeah, if we kill Better Chaos, it'll probably be uh it'll probably hatch. Ugh No touch. Senorita, no touch. Okay, thanks. Alright. First try, here we go. All the marbles. Okay. Jump, jump. Right here. Right here. That was not correct. It's right here. Oh. What a fucking punk. It's the upper the upper two. Yeah. That should have been it. Whatever. We'll get it this time. That should have been it. I don't know how long will I miss that second one. That's bullshit.
Excuse me, ma'am. I don't want any part of this. Here we go. First try. I don't know how the hell I didn't get that. That's bullshit. Obviously I just aimed incorrectly, but still, like, bullshit. Alright, let me not die getting there. Got it! Easy first try. No touch. Don't you firestorm me, bitch. Alright. Now watch the egg grow. And. Uh huh. And. Yeah, gross. So now, if I do a, a kick animation, oh, all right, let's try that. Again. So if I kick, oops, if I kick, my little maggot head pops out and attacks, which is super gross. But hey, that's over with, so now we can, uh, get this thing off of me. But we can go ahead and get the last of our, uh, of our pyromancies. Well, now, you're just like me. Your dedication is fully apparent. Only, well, your head looks awful. Why not try this? I've no use for it any longer. Thanks. Oh, hello. What is it that you need? Hey! I can now get... I already have poison mist, but I won't have toxic mist. Let's use that motherfucking egg drum refuge. Oh, goodness gracious. Get that shit off of me. <laughs> Much better. All right, with that, I say we call this an episode. I'm gonna go grab some more pyromancies off camera, and next time we'll do uh, Nido. Nido's next. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like, comment down below what your favorite part was, and of course, if you want to see more, please subscribe. I post lots of Dark Soul stuff. I'm Alec, the Lost Knight, and I'll catch you guys next time.